What's up guys? I just got done filming the VHT Special 6 demo. Nora loved it so much she fell asleep. But anyways, using the parts strat. This time I was running straight in the whole way. Um, now, let's see if we can't focus here. Come on buddy, help a brother out. There we go. So for the most part, I actually was running like this, I believe. I was in the clean channel the whole time. The volume knob was cranked the whole time. I did use the pull boost at a certain point and then um, tweaked the EQ just a little bit. I find the depth knob. Uh, yesterday I was running it mostly wide open, but I like to put it back about a notch or two just to kind of tidy up some of that low end. Um, it's a little bit of a dark-ish amp. I would not say that it is too dark though because I think with the tone up around three quarters and the depth knob back just a little, it actually is pretty spanky and sparkly. Um, but mostly what I was trying to do is get as much as I could out of this setup right here. Just with the volume maxed um, and the tone up and the depth up. Now the biggest thing, the reason why I want to do this demo compared to yesterday, which I should have talked about earlier, is that I'm running a 6L6. I've got a JJ6L6 in there. I read somewhere online that these guys will actually take uh, 6L6s, EL34s, KT66s, any octal based power amp tube. Now, um, I've seen some demos with the EL34s. I actually don't know for 100% fact if this is like acceptable or okay, but I thought I might as well try it. Um, and it actually sounded really good. It definitely increased the clean headroom. There was not as much breakup. Uh, as you can see, I had the volume pretty much all the way up, and with the Strat single coils, it was um, just kind of on the verge of breakup. And if I rolled back a little bit on my volume knob, it's actually a really, really nice clean tone to my ears. I was in the high power mode with the watts all the way up, so maximum clean headroom. Um, I think if if you if I left the volume kind of in this area, then it would be clean on 10, but um, anyways, I really liked it. Now, I did change some preamp tubes as well, and uh, they were kind of some little bit more off-brand, not the JJs that I typically like. I actually have all my good preamp tubes in my Frenzel, so so be it. Um, but anyways, I think the, the tube swap really helped with the amp. Um, yesterday I was getting kind of a weird, I don't know if it was like a noise thing, but it was it was kind of strange, and so... I actually uh, think the tube change helped quite a bit. And I with, with, with amps like this, especially Class A circuits, they're so simple that the tubes actually make a very big difference. So, overall, I'm uh, pretty pumped with it. I hope you guys enjoy the demo, and uh, let me know your thoughts down below. See ya.